welcome back to my channel it is now day eight of the canva animation challenge and let's get started in today's tutorial i'm just going to show you how to use this really simple movement effect where we are increasing the size to really highlight each individual product and i'm going to show you the different elements that i've used um, to pull together this animation so in the elements library i just entered the search term cosmetic bottle and it gave me all these lovely different bottled shapes which all look like they're from the same range which is important to give it a bit more realism i've included a little logo on the labels and i've got the logo by just searching beauty logo within the canva library now this is one of my own designs because i am a canva creator and you can find my designs in the search designer in your pocket and also that i've just edited it slightly to suit the format of the labels and then lastly we have the abstract water cosmetic background which i found in the image library so this is all the different elements that i have used to pull this animation together the thing is when you gather everything in a, a single page like this then you can just copy and paste them into the page you need them and then set that to background and then i'm going to grab all of my bottles and place on the page as so lastly that what i'd added is actually this watercolour effect um, in the background of the logo as well just to add a little more interest and then enlarging up the design and i'm going to line it up exactly in the middle and make sure that it is the background layer and then all that i've done is went up to transparency and i've reduced it right down to about 40 percent and now we're going to add in our animation effect so we're going to reduce down the size of the slide to about we'll do it one second just now and then we're going to copy the page and this time we'll take one of our elements and bring it down to the center and then enlarge it so it's increased in size and then what we need to do is go back to the first page duplicate again this time move it across so it's your last slide so now what you have is your original slide then we have the slide with the large product in the middle and then we have placed it exactly back into the same place again then what we'll do is we'll go back and to add a transition between the slides and you can see now when i hover across the match and move it's starting to show that effect and we'll put it again in here so that it goes back to the same place again so now when i hover across you can see that it's going on top of the other product down the side and then back in place again and we really want to just repeat this step again so that we get the same effect and motion happening with each slide so we're going to duplicate the page and this time we're going to move the second bottle in place enlarge it in size and make sure it's in the middle and then go back to that second slide from the end duplicate and then move it to the end go back in and add our transition match and move between our slides and now you'll see when i play it from the start We've already got the first two animations happening and then I can go ahead and add in the last two. So duplicate page, move this one in place, make sure it's in the middle, move this one to the end, then copy again just so we can do that last one. This one here, duplicate our last slide, move it across to the end and then we just need to go back in and add our match and move transitions. Now when I play it from the start, we should have each one by one just moving into place and it does and of course we can go back in now if we select these slides all together we can go up and we can change the timing maybe we want them to go a bit faster so i'll just put in 0.7 and then you can apply that to all pages and then if i play it again it is going to happen much faster and then you can also edit the match and move timings in here you can make it much faster or you can increase it right to the maximum so that it gives you that slowest transition possible with the length of each slide i'll just put that for you one more time just so you can see how it all comes together and as i say this is a really good effect if you have products that you want to highlight 
and even if you have images and things you can apply this exact same technique with images as well.